If 10 states made it a felony to read the New York Times, the media would run the story 24-7 until Congress fixed the assault on the First Amendment. But when 10 states criminalize the Second Amendment, the media says nothing. They don't report that honest, well-meaning people, nurses, stay-at-home moms, veterans, even a disaster relief worker, have been charged with felonies for simply having a lawfully owned firearm. Each was legally licensed to carry a firearm in their home state, but arrested and charged as criminals when safely carrying it through another, less free state. When states can deny one constitutional freedom, they can criminalize the entire Bill of Rights. On behalf of America's 100 million gun owners, we will fight until the full measure of our Second Amendment freedom is restored to every citizen in every corner of the land. We are the National Rifle Association of America, and we're freedom's safest place.